Good morning, good morning, parents. Good morning, students. Uh, welcome to Evergreen Secondary School. Uh, thank you for joining us this morning uh, for our briefing. Um, we are also recording this session so that we can also put it online after that. Um, before we start this session, let's welcome our principal to give us our welcome address. Mr. Toh, please. Good morning, parents and uh, side one students. Uh, welcome to Evergreen Secondary School. Uh, I believe this is a very important milestone for all of you. So I'll just say a word for the students first, then I will maybe address the parents. Uh, now, students, this is a, a important uh, stage of your life. Okay, uh, I hope uh, when you come to Evergreen, okay, you will be cheerful and you'll be open about making friends, right? So when you come to school, uh, don't just look out for your primary school friends. Okay, they will be around, of course. Uh, but uh, be open to uh, make friends, be open to be the best friend that you can be to those around you. Okay, uh, there will be quite a fair bit of uh, bonding activities uh, going on, uh, but we will make sure that the safe measures are in place. Okay, so uh, students, I hope uh, you when you come in, okay, uh, you will be patient with yourself and also with us. Uh, it will take a little bit of time for you to okay, to uh, what's going on around. Okay, uh, but we will give you time uh, not to work. Uh, now, a secondary school experience uh, will be quite different from uh, primary school in the sense that uh, I think one of, one of the very important things that you notice is that you are taking a lot more subjects as compared to primary school. Okay, we'll be taking uh, seven to eight subjects um, and uh, the days may be longer. Okay, so if you are used to going home uh, very early uh, on time, you may feel a bit tired towards the afternoon. Okay, so uh, habits like, for example, eat your breakfast before you come to school. Uh, if you are not an early breakfast type, remember to eat during recess time. Okay, or at least uh, drink which okay, before you come to school. Okay, uh, sleep on time. Okay, uh, in fact, uh, if you want to adjust yourself to school reopen on the 4th of January, okay, you should be sleeping uh, time now. Okay, do a little bit of um, um, preparation, maybe instead of waking up at 8, uh, 9, 9 to 10 a.m. Try to wake up at 7 a.m. and then maybe at 6 30 uh, uh, so they get used to uh, coming to school so, so these are little things that matter a lot okay um so uh welcome again okay uh i believe uh, you will find that this is an important this this will be an exciting journey of your life okay most of us we have uh, very good friends that we make okay, in secondary school okay um in fact if you ask the teachers who are our best friends that we have okay they are all um we, we all have friends in very good friends in uh, secondary school okay uh, so so when you come to uh, evergreen okay uh, make it happen okay make it uh, be the best friend that you can be okay give yourself time and give uh, your friends time okay, to get to know you okay um, the second thing that you will find that is very different will be uh, you will find that cca okay uh, will become a very important aspect of your life uh, you will find that uh, you will have a chance to select the CCAs. Okay, not all of you will be given first choice, but remember CCA is not about just the activity that you do, uh, but actually it's a time and a place for you to um, 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 train yourself up to be a leader, to be a, a person that you, uh, your parents and your uh, people around you will be proud of. 
okay, uh, every one of you have vast potential. Okay, there's no limit to what you can do. Okay, the only limit actually can be in your mind. Uh, okay, uh, but when you join your CCA, you will find that uh, there will be many uh, moments where you will do uncomfortable things. Okay, so one of the one of the encouragement I have for you is to not be afraid to do difficult things. Okay, because the more you uh, take on challenges, the more you will grow, the more skills okay, that you will find yourself building yourself up. And um, and that that's something that I hope you can uh, look forward to. Okay, and uh, within I think uh, the first month you should be able to join a CCA. Okay, and uh, I hope you will be able to um, uh, grow in those CCAs wherever you might be. Okay, uh, now now I just have a word with the parents. Uh, so parents are welcome to Evergreen uh, to the Evergreen community. Okay, uh, I think many of you uh, could be first time uh, secondary parent, right? This is the first time your child, uh, this 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 child that you have is the oldest one. Is uh, first time he's stepping into secondary school. Okay, I, I don't know whether you remember the days when you, uh, when you brought uh, him or her to the kindergarten, okay, or to the preschool, okay, walk through the gate and he's like, wow, milestone, okay, and then uh, you have gone through walking the child to the primary, through the primary school gates, okay, and then um, not easy, okay, to let go, uh, and now finally, uh, not finally, but uh, uh, I'm sure you are equally as about this uh, milestone of uh, your child going to a secondary school okay so uh, do not worry okay i think your child is in a good place uh, what you can do to support your child uh, i think there is a difference between uh, the earlier milestones in preschool and primary school is that in secondary school you will find that your child is growing up okay your child is slowly entering a very um, strange stage of their life okay they are getting into their teenage years uh, they will look a bit different, they may feel a bit different, they may behave a bit differently. Uh, some will want to be a little bit more independent, some will feel that uh, they need a lot more encouragement okay, to do the things that uh, they didn't usually do. Okay, uh, some, for them, you may really need to guide them uh, to uh, do well okay, in, in school and in life. Okay, uh, and home environment is very important. Okay, so uh, with all our busyness and with all the challenges that we might be facing, Okay, just make sure that uh, uh, this child that you have, okay, uh, encourage them. Okay, um, always affirm them of the things that they are doing. Okay, find space and time to talk to them. Uh, I will encourage actually everyone to, uh, if you if possible, okay, if it's any possible, uh, at least once a week have a meal together. Okay, uh, for them to uh, share with you uh, their schooling experiences, good or bad. Okay. Uh, 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 spend time listening to them, okay, hear them out, okay, uh, and um, encourage them if they face some challenges, okay, encourage them not to give up easily, okay. So one of the things that I, I, could, uh, I will talk to you more about this uh, in the days to come, okay, uh, you will want to mark now the 16th of January, okay, the day where I will meet up with you and also there will be a CCA open house, we will communicate the details to you later on, but I'll be with you uh, how Evergreen uh, intends to um, mold your child okay, uh, to lay strong foundations uh, in them. Okay, So laying strong foundations means that sometimes uh, life may be a bit hard. Okay, Otherwise, you can't lay strong foundations. right? Uh, but uh, I, I just want to communicate this to you that uh, we, we do believe uh, as I, uh, to, be, to have a joy in, in learning. We do believe in engagement. Uh, we do believe in uh, getting students to um, enjoy school, but we also believe that uh, we need to lay strong foundations for them so that they can uh, grow well and do well uh, uh, in, in upper secondary as well as post secondary school education. Okay, so uh, in secondary school, uh, one of the things that the parents must, uh, uh, I hope, support us in doing is to uh, support your child. Okay, do not uh, be afraid uh, to try to do difficult things. Okay, sometimes they may feel that the challenge is a mounting. Sometimes they may feel that they may not be able to cope. Okay, but I think they need all of us to work together. Okay, to uh, ensure the support environment is there. Okay, so without going too deep into it, uh, I hope you are excited. Okay, my staff, my key personnel are all here today. We actually have holidays, but we are all here today because I think we are so excited to uh, receive you. Uh, they will be in the various Zoom rooms 
yeah, unfortunately, we can't meet up with you face to face. You'll be in the various Zoom rooms, okay, later on to answer your query, okay. Uh, the two persons that you may want to quickly get to know is uh, the first person is uh, was the person who introduced me just now, Mr. Un, okay, O U N, Mr. Un, Un Ye Chu, okay, he is the year head in charge of the uh, SEC 1 cohort, okay. The other person that you want to know, uh, she's in the she's in one of the Zoom uh, uh, pictures if you can find her, uh, Miss Joanna Lee, okay, she is the assistant year head for the SEC 1s. Okay, so these two persons will quickly connect with you today. Okay, and uh, when on the after 27th of December, uh, when we have set up the classes, okay, you will find out who your form teachers are when you step into school on the 4th of January. Okay, so so there are some timeline for you to know of. Okay, so um nothing much. Okay, don't worry about your secondary school uh, coming in. There will be time for you to settle in. Okay, uh, for those of you who have to adjust your sleep time and hours i think that's the most important come to school actually okay try to reach school uh, uh 10 to 15 minutes before the bell goes okay so you should reach school about 7 15 okay then you won't be in a rush okay uh, remember when you are in a rush sometimes uh, you cannot enjoy yourself and you end up uh, uh, starting the day very hastily and uh, that's not the something that you want to do uh, on the first day of school come to school early uh, report to school early, uh, settle in, know friends, get to know your seniors, okay, talk to people, uh, and then I think uh, everything will be all right. Okay, so with that, I hand the time back to Mr. Un. Uh, I wish you a wonderful um, Christmas, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year to all the parents and students. Okay, and see you uh, pretty soon. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you everyone for, for the wait. There were some technical difficulties just now. Um, again, very excited um, to see all of you, um, our set one parents, our set one students. Okay, um, today I'll be run, running through with you quite a few things. So do bear with me as well. Um, um, starting with, um, I'm going to go through with you the highlights of the letter, followed by the administrative methods. And then I will have a collation of the resources for all of you, uh, it's a one point contact so that you are, everything will be at one this place so that you can um, check out the documents as well. Okay, so next. <clears throat> so um, this will be the highlights that we're, what we'll be going through today. Um, the highlight of letter to parents later, administrative matters, followed by subject matters briefing. And then um, I'll be showing you the Zoom rooms, which um, most of you should have received through the parents gateway. 
Next. 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 Okay. Um, so this is the um, information can be collated from the letter to parents. So I'll be running through with you some of the important message that uh, um, that I, I will need to need action for the first day of school and maybe or in fact the first term. Next. Okay, the first day of school on the 4th of Jan, the reporting time will be 7.20 a.m. Uh, the reporting venue will be the, the school hall. Uh, the dismissal time will be 1.05 p.m. Now, some of the suggested things to bring on the first day of school uh, will be some of pocket money for your recess, uh, one notebook and writing materials, one water bottle, and um, your, if you have any your financial assistance form and any medical reports. Next. Now, for our school, um, this is our, our um, normal timetable. This is uh, from our this year set one class. So it may, there may be some changes in terms of that. Now, school normally starts at 7.20 and at uh, and around 2.15. This is a typical school day. Each period is around 35 minutes. Now, on Tuesday, uh, students do take note. We start late on Tuesday. Um, you, you all can report to school by 8.55 a.m. Okay, next, uh, we, so we have one recess and we also have one snack break. So recess will be around 10.10 10 and snack break will be around 1.05 p.m. Okay, so uh, you'll be finalized after the timetable is out. The timetable will be uploaded on our school website. Okay, during the snack, snack time, uh, you can have a light snack, uh, for example, a very um, dry and healthy snacks. Yeah, thank you. Next. Now, um, for parents, uh, you are invited to join us for our EVG PSG, uh, our first uh, meeting will be on the 23rd of Jan, 8.30 a.m. to 10 a.m., uh, where you have um, meetings with our school key personnel and building networks to support each other as well. Uh, you'll be conducted through Zoom. Next. Now, um, the school, um, we have quite, quite a few safety measures that we have in place. This includes daily temperature taking of our students. So for the first day, uh, our students will also be taking our temperature as well. In fact, every day. Uh, we have staggered recesses and we also have um, social distancing measures. Um, do help us. If your child is unwell, please bring him or her to see a doctor and let them rest at home. And if any of um, in the household, if there's an adult that's unwell with flu-like symptoms, please inform the form teachers immediately and please do not let your child attend school for the duration of the MC or until the um, member test result for COVID-19 uh, is reported to be negative. Next. Now, for, for parents driving into school and also coming to school for students, the opening hours of the side gates um, near the bus stop, we have a one side gate that's near the bus stop, is uh, in the morning, it will be 6.30 to 7.30 a.m. Now, in the afternoon, uh, we also do open the side gate, but it's dependent on the dismissal time. So it'll be around one hour after the dismissal time. Now, if you are driving your child to school, please drop your child um, only at the car arrival porch area. Okay, next. Now, um, now you can refer to our school letter for key events taking place in term one. Now, um, I see, um, I'm apologize. There are some errors. We'll be resending out the school letters. In fact, um, from point seven to point 11, there were some errors in the dates. Next. So these are the amendments to the dates, which I will send out after this um, briefing. So uh, from 12 to 15 of Feb will be Chinese New Year. It will be a session period, which we will share with you more uh, during our meetings later on. It's on the 16th of Jan. And then 22nd to 25th of Feb, um, the, all the set one will have an art learning journey. Okay, then, the, then we'll reach the term one, where we'll go for 13th to 21st of March will be a school holidays. And 22nd of March will be the uh, first day of term two. Next. Now, uh, for students, I think you'll be very excited to know this. This is our, this is our orientation together with, uh, we call it a camp confidence to build, a, to build your um, different skills. Now, so for 4th of 6th of Jan, these are the reporting time and the dismissal time, as well as the attire. So for the first day, it'll be full school uniform. 5th of Jan will be your PE attire. Uh, 6th of Jan, um, there'll be a morning and evening session because in the evening, you have a campfire. Okay, next. Now, so on the evening, um, 5.30 to 9 p.m., there will be a set one campfire where parents will, invite, will also be inviting you to join us. But uh, for this year, uh, we are actually inviting all of you to view this campfire online. 
Okay, so not to worry, uh, all, all safe distancing measures will be strictly enforced during a campfire. And for those parents who are driving in uh, to pick up a child, you can do so from 9 to 9.30 p.m. Now, this campfire will be a, um, will have some performance by a child as well. So do keep a lookout for that. Next. Uh, next, um, this was mentioned previously by my principal, Mr. Toh, that uh, we will be connecting with all parents more during the, our set one briefing to parents, where we, where we also have our CCA open house. It's from 8.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. Next. Now, what, what are you going to expect um, during this session? Um, from 8.30 to 10.30, there will be briefing. Um, in that briefing, um, for example, assessment, um, our discipline matters. And as well, you will be able to see the form teachers uh, where we will have some uh, form of uh, interaction for you with the form teachers. Yeah. And this will be conducted through Zoom. Followed by that will be our ECC open house uh, where we'll, we will let the students and parents to look through the different CCAs as well. Next. Now, next part <clears throat> will be administrative matters. Now, um, do take note uh, for NA and NT students who are eligible for higher demand subjects through SVB. Um, first thing I need to do, uh, we have sent to you this um, SVB eligibility Excel spreadsheet. Now do take note, um, I have some queries from parents regarding the spreadsheet. Now this spreadsheet can only be done um, using your computer or if you use the Excel, Excel app. Okay, so you do check your grades against the eligibility criteria. Now, if at any point of time you are eligible, if you do see that there's, you are eligible for higher demand subjects, English, math, science, and maths, English, math, science, and mother tongue, sorry, you can proceed to the school hall today at your allocated time slot. Now, um, when you come to school, you will be able to submit the SVP form for you to take the subjects, after which you are able to purchase the school uniform and PE shorts as well as the textbook from the school bookshop. <clears throat> Next. Now, this is the timing for the, um, for the, for the, for you come, to come to school. So this, if you're, for, so, so for example, if your child full name is um, John Tan Billing, so because your first letter start with J, so you can come to the school hall between the timing from 2 to 3 p.m. Now, I, I need, I need, I see understanding uh, to follow street, to strictly follow this schedule so that uh, we can stagger the crowd as well and we can better manage. Yeah, thank you. Next, um, now, um, the color of your PE t-shirt in our school um, actually take after the names of uh, our six Singapore founding fathers. There are six colors, which six houses. Now, um, it, will depend, it will depend on the class that you'll be allocated to. Now, this class allocation, because this year, um, we, we need to collate the SVB uh, collation information first. That's why the class allocation will only be assigned by 27 December. Okay, so for those who purchase, who are coming today because of SVB matters, please do not purchase the PE attire. Uh, there will be time allocated for your child to purchase the PE t-shirt in school on the first day of school. So it will be around seven to nine dollars depending on the size. Yeah, and next. Now these are the classes uh, that we have for set one. So there are a total of seven classes, one aspect, one integrity, one commitment, and one enterprise. And this actually follow our school values. One dynamic, one thinking, and one character. Now you can check your classes by Parents Gateway when you click on uh, your child's name. Next. So these are the attire. So if you are assigned to one respect, uh, you will have to purchase the red color P t-shirt. Okay, so uh, if you are assigned to one dynamic, you will be assigned to uh, Eddie Parker House and you'll be have to purchase the blue color P t-shirt. Okay, now um, for, for others uh, who are not able to come to school today because uh, you're not eligible for SVB, um, you can purchase the textbook, of a few methods. One is online uh, from 23rd to 25th of December, so where you can opt for home delivery or self-collection in school. Okay, the book list will have, have been sent to all of you through the Parents Gateway and it's also accessible via the bookshop website. Now, there will be no online purchase of uniform uh, because of the long delivery lead time. So for school uniform and PT shirt, you need to purchase them in school. Now, how do you purchase them? Next. 
Um, so for to purchase um, the textbook or school uniform, uh, you need to book a uh, appointment slot through this uh, website, or you can scan the QR code as well. Now do note the following: uh, you are strongly encouraged um, to purchase it online, and please do not turn up in school without any appointment. And students can only be accompanied by one parent or guardian, and you'll be required to show the email with details of the date and time slots. Thank you for the understanding. Now, these are our opening hours uh, for the purchase of textbooks and uniforms. So 28 December, 12 to 3 p.m., 29 December, 9 to 3 p.m., and 30th of December, 9 to 3 p.m. Okay, so all these slots will be available on the school website. Mm. Next, uh, for our school, we have a special shoelace, uh, which is green in color. Uh, so you need to purchase this from our school bookshop, and it costs around $2.50 per pair. Okay, and now for our school, uh, in terms of shoes, we are using the black shoes. Okay, now uh, for application for FAS, uh, there are two types. One is new application. For those uh, applying it for the first time, you can obtain the application form from the school website, general office, or if you do not have any, any internet connection, you can come to the school today at the time slot given and to, to obtain the forms. Now, do take note, all applications must be supported with the required documents. Next. Now, if the primary school has already approved the FAS application, you can, there are two ways. You can send either the approved letter to our school mobile number, or you can report to the uh, FAS book today at 23rd December. Okay. Now, do take note, uh, if you are applying for financial assistance, do not purchase the textbook and school uniform until the application is approved. Next. Now, if you'd like to participate in this um, exercise, which is the application for transfer for serious medical condition, now please proceed to the general office for assistance today. Now, uh, all application must reach the school by 23rd December, which is today by 12 p.m. Next. Now, for gyro payment for school fees, if you wish to pay the school fees through gyro, you can obtain a form uh, there's no need um, to apply for gyro again if you have been paying school fees through gyro. Next, now for uh, for your uh, current smart card, uh, you'll be issued with a new one. However, you can still continue to use your uh, smart card until the end of April 2021. Yeah, next. Now for more information, uh, please refer to the student handbook. Now you will be able to purchase this uh, when school starts. Next, um, this uh, uh, for all Singapore citizens and per permanent residents, uh, uh, I require the parents um, to, to go to this web page to give your consent regarding house screening and dental services in school. Next, uh, subject matters. Now, um, I have received some, quite a few questions on elig uh, eligibility for higher mother tongue. Now, uh, for higher mother tongue language uh, by MOE criteria, um, they must be either Top one, top ten percent of PSLE students, or eleven to thirty percent band with an A star for their mother tongue, or married in higher mother tongue in PSLE. So, uh, it's strictly by MOE offer letter only. Okay, uh, for for our school, uh, we will base it on our SA two results, which is the end of year results for our set one. So, it's either you get the A one twenty five percent for mother tongue, or the, and the top twenty five percent. Again, it's by school offer letter only. Now, uh, for those eligible for higher mother tongue, we will auto enroll your child into higher mother tongue. You can, con you can proceed to purchase the higher mother tongue books. However, if your child does not wish to take out the higher mother tongue offer, please proceed to the school hall later on uh, with uh, your allocated time slots. Now, um, do take note, um, we also this year we have received application for third language. Uh, so far, all the third language application is unsuccessful. Now, if you do have any queries regarding the language, you can proceed to the mother tongue Zoom room later on. Now, FSBB, full subject based spending. Now, um, our school has been selected as one of the 28 pilot school. Uh, our first batch has, is already set to next, will be set to next year. Next. Now, uh, this, what is this all about? It's, a, it's really uh, it's a, an opportunity for your child where they have a common learning experience, where they can build a friendship with all streams and also opportunity to take other subjects at a more demanding level. 
mix. Now your child will be, for our school, for your child will be in a mixed stream class. So each class will have students who have joined Evergreen by Express, NA or NT courses. So all students, um, what does it mean for your child? Your, um, all students will actually experience common curriculum subjects. And this includes your art, CCE lessons, DNT lesson, FCE and physical education, PE. However, for those subjects with for SVB, your child will proceed to the respective classes. Now, uh, with SVB, your child can actually start doing that from step, step one to build a stronger foundation in subjects that he or she is good at. Next. So, um, step one students posted to NA and NT courses, you are, you are able to be offered English, maths or science or mother tongue at a more demanding level based on your PSLE subject grades. Next. So those eligible for, for SBB subjects, uh, you will be receiving a subject option form. Uh, so that's why we will need you to come to school later on. Next. So this is a sample of the letter of offer. Next. So students in the, who are being offered, uh, please collect the option form later at your allocated time slot. Now, after making your choice, uh, you can then purchase the uniform and textbook today. Okay, so um, please indicate your decision later on. Next. So this is the time slot um, that um, you can come later on. Next. Next, uh, school home partnership. Um, now, our way of working uh, with parents, uh, we will, our, our, our teachers, uh, our school staff, our, our KPs, uh, we, we want to support every one of you. Uh, we will solve problems all to, together with all of you, issues related to your child. And we, we would like also to affirm and we will cheer on the successes or, of your child as well. And as much as we, we will empower you, uh, we also hope you can empower our teachers, trust our teachers to make the right decision for, our, for your child because we will place your child at the center of what we do. Next. Now, um, some, some, some differences between primary school and secondary school. Uh, in secondary school, there are longer hours. You, you, you look at time, the timetable just now. It's from 7.20 to 2.15. Some days, maybe will even stretch to 2.50, uh, after which you have CCAs. So you're end around 5.30 at times. Uh, you have more subjects, uh, I think around nine subjects, and you have other school programs. So we have various very exciting school programs uh, that we will have for us all set one students. You have new friends as well. And how to help the child to transit to this, um, talk to them, meet, ensure they are safe and comfortable in a new environment and talk to them to help them also to manage their daily challenges as well. Now, um, some resources uh, for, for parents um, to help your child transit through secondary school. Next. Now, uh, strengthening communication. Um, we will have uh, various contact points so today will be one contact point on the 16th Jan. We look forward to, for, to talk to you uh, regarding more on, on our academic subjects and other matters. Next, uh, we have very open channels. So do feel free to, to talk to me if you do have any questions or my AYH, Ms. Joanna Lee as well. And we look forward to coll collaborate with you uh, to help a child to transit to secondary school. Now, um, so some of the ways that we will uh, um, pass the information to you, uh, between the parents, uh, our set one PTMs, which will have upcoming, the upcoming one will be on 16th Jan. There will be two more, uh, which is on the May and end of October. Uh, another platform that will be engaging you will be through the Parents Gateway, as well as the school website and our school Facebook. So if you have not gone to any one of them, please do so. Now, um, these are some of the import, important contact points for you. You can contact um, to, through the school telephone number or even um, go through our school evergreen email. Next, some of the resources from you uh, with regards to MOE. Next. Okay, so after talking about all this, uh, let me just run through uh, what, what I need to do today. So first thing, uh, if you have not complete the online registration, okay, uh, please do so by clicking on this link. Uh, this registration will be open until uh, 2359 today. Okay, step two, uh, which is the online briefing today. 
Now after this, what 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 can you do? What do you do? Step three. Now, uh, so for this, uh, you have not checked your eligibility. Please do so. So download Excel spreadsheet uh, through your computers or you through the Excel app. Key in the sorry, it should be the last four digits and alphabets of your child NRIC number, and then you will be able to know whether your child is eligible. Next. Now, so for those who are eligible, you can proceed to the school at a located time slot. Next. For those uh, who are eligible for higher, higher mother tongue, you do not need to come to school. Uh, you also enroll your child, so you can proceed to purchase the higher mother tongue. Now, however, if your child does not wish to pick up the offer, uh, please proceed to the school at this time slot. Next. Now, if you would like to apply for FAS, uh, yeah, you can either go through the school website or if you can come to school today to bring, please bring along your supporting documents at the allocated time slot. Now, do take note, if you are coming to school today, uh, we, we allow only one parent and only one student. Uh, do observe the safe distancing measures, which include uh, safe entry, entry, and as well as temperature taking, as well as uh, there'll be a decoration. Now, if any one of the family members is unwell, or on quarantine order or stay home notice or LOA, please stay at home. Now, these are some of the checklists of the important documents uh, that you should be, that you should have received. Next. Okay, and this is the uh, collation of the information for purchase of textbooks, as well as the booking on uniforms. Now, next, uh, next we go to the Zoom rooms. Uh, for Q and A late, for later on. Now, uh, who are the personnel that will be in the Zoom room? Uh, appeal matters. Uh, for all appeal matters, matters, you can look for Mr. Sharyu and Mr. Ratish. Mr. Sharyu is the year head for is the other year head, and Mr. Ratish is the HOD of English language. Now, for CCA matters, uh, if you have any questions regarding CCA, uh, you can look for Mr. James Ng, HOD of PE and CCA, and Mr. Adam Chan, uh, subject here of sports education. Now for counseling matters, uh, you can look for Mrs. Julia Raj, who is the HOD of CCE, and Madam Pichita Shin, which, who is our school counselor. Now for FAS matters, you can look for Madam Nohayati, our FAS coordinator, or Madam Farida, our administrative manager. For mother tongue language matters, uh, if you want to check on higher mother tongue, as well as um, language application, you can look for Mr. Zhu, uh, HOD of Mother Tongue Language, and Madam Siu, subject head of Chinese language. Now for special needs matter, uh, you can look for Ms. Kaida, who is our allied educator, as well as Madam Sanjuta. Now for SBB matters, uh, you can look for Madam Lok, Fang, and as well as Mr. Chong, uh, who are our personnel in charge of SBB. Next. Now, um, these are the information for the Zoom room. Now, when you are going into the Zoom room, uh, same thing, uh, I need you to um, use the name yourself using the following format. Now, you'll be placed in a virtual waiting room for admission. Now, do take note, there may be a queue at times. We will try our best. Uh, so, I also seek understanding um, to have the Zoom session around 10 minutes per session. Now, the Zoom room will open from 10 to 11.30 a.m. So, you can go in and at any point of time. When you have questions. Next. Yeah, that's the end of our briefing for today. Can you go back to okay. well, we will I will uh that's the end of our presentation today. So I will let the uh, I will get the Zoom room um slides to be on so that if you have any question regarding um the various matters, you can use the information provided to go to the Zoom room. Yeah, and I hope I look forward to one of you uh, on the first day of school and I hope I can see a smile on everyone. Yeah, thank you everyone and have a nice day.